Have you ever thought to yourself, I feel completely stuck and frustrated in my career? I think it's probably a common thought for many people, military spouse or not. But we all know that there are added challenges to pursuing a meaningful, mobile career that truly lights you up and that you can take with you when you move. So what happens when we get to this place where we feel stuck and what can we do about it? Let's jump into the show and find out. You, my friend, were made for more. More than the managing of schedules, keeping up with kiddos, and holding down the home front. Welcome to the Mill Spouse Mastermind Show, the podcast that empowers you to get unstuck and craft a life with more meaning and less overwhelm. I'm your host, Christine, seasoned military spouse, mom of three, and your guide to designing a life you love and growing a purpose-fueled business as a military spouse. I believe you have something valuable to offer. And when you pursue the things that light your heart on fire, you trade frustration for fulfillment and isolation for a life of impact. It's time to discuss who you are meant to be because together we can change the world. Oh my goodness, thank you for those of you who joined me inside our Facebook community for our live session together and for to those of you that watched the replay or listened to the replay on the podcast. I know that we are all in different time zones, life is busy, and sometimes it's hard to carve out that time to listen, but I hope that you do because I want you to take action in 2024. I want you to live with intention. I want you to feel like you have the power to begin to transform your life and live your best year yet in 2024. If you have not listened yet, I highly recommend you go back and listen to this. This is a practical guide for setting goals for your year. And what I want for you this year in 2024 is to get clarity around who you are, to feel like you are able to connect with yourself, to understand what you have to offer the world, and to step into your full potential. That is truly my heartbeat and why this podcast exists. Now, there are only two days left to apply your coupon code January 2024, J-A-N 2024, to get 40% off my signature course, Mill Spouse Purpose Playbook, which is your self-paced program to help you get clarity, identify your personal purpose, set purpose-driven goals for your year, identify and overcome mindset blockers, build out your weekly schedule to implement all of the things that you want to do this year and live more intentionally and find fulfillment as a military spouse. There are videos that are inside of that course to explain each concept and then a workbook for you to go through that goes along with each video in the course. The other thing that is available for two more days only is the hybrid option. If you want additional help getting unstuck, the Best Year Yet package gives you access to the course and all of the bonuses that go along with the course, plus three one-on-one coaching sessions with me. This is also 40% off if you take action in January. This is a package I am excited about because I know that sometimes we need a little help, a little support, a little accountability to actually take action. That we will want to do something, but then never actually get around to doing it. And so by having those three coaching sessions, you have six months to use. You have extra incentive to actually take action and follow through and let 2024 Be the year that you transform your life, you invest in yourself, and you step into who you were meant to be. So today we are talking about the idea of feeling stuck in your career or lack of a career. 
Because the longer that you stay stuck, the more you will begin to doubt yourself. You will second guess yourself. You will begin to struggle with your self-confidence and who you are. And I have an episode coming up in a few weeks that will specifically focus on that. But I want to focus on this idea of feeling stuck and frustrated in your career. What can we do about it? Well, the first thing to recognize is that this is a feeling. When you feel stuck, when you feel frustrated, it is not a circumstance. It is not an outcome. It is a feeling. And yes, your thoughts and your beliefs may be contributing to that feeling. But the first thing that we need to recognize is what this actually is. And it is a feeling. And one of the beautiful things about feelings is that they are designed to tell us something about ourselves. So we need to ask ourselves, what does this feeling tell me about myself? And your goal is to get really curious and understand and unpack what is contributing to that feeling and why. That feeling may come from the fact that you're not where you want to be in your career. That feeling may come from the fact that you are in a job where you love certain aspects of that job and not others. That feeling may come from the fact that you have taken a step back in your career and you realize that's not where you need to be. Perhaps your kids are little or you just PCS and you felt like you needed to make a choice about your career based on a life circumstance. But the point is not to judge the choice that you made. The point is to understand that the feelings and sensations that we have in our body are clues. And we want to get really curious about what those clues tell us about what we like, about what we don't like, about what we want, about what we don't want, about what is truly lighting us up and what is not. About areas where we are stuck in a negative thought loop. So the question that I want you to ask yourself is what is this feeling telling me? And get curious about the answer. The third step is to ask yourself what do I want? Sometimes we have no idea what we want. Sometimes we have a lot better idea of what we don't want than what we do want. And so this is where I really recommend a self-discovery process. You need that clarity so that you are able to take action. So get clear on who you are, what you want, what your vision for the future looks like what you want your life to look and feel like, what you want your legacy to be. Take some time to reconnect with yourself, to dream big, and then to say, what matters most to me in this season? Because sometimes it's not the right time for us to take that next step. We may feel stuck, but we're not yet at a place where we can change our circumstance. But the question is, what matters most right now? Because if we don't prioritize what matters most, if we don't take the time to say, what is important to me right now, then we're probably going to make a decision that leads us to feel more frustrated. And then the fourth step is to ask yourself, What can I do today? Because sometimes we can't make a big change. Like I said, it's not the right time or the right season. But there is something that you can do 
today to move the needle towards what you really want, towards a life that feels more fulfilling. Regardless of what your current circumstances are, where you are currently living, the ages of your kids, whether you have kids, don't have kids, whether your spouse is home, they're deployed, all of these other circumstances, whatever your particular circumstances look like, there is something that you can do today to move the needle towards who you want to be, towards what you really want, towards how you want to show up. I have found that to be true in every single season of life. And it is truly this clarity plus action piece that is really going to help you move the needle towards a much more fulfilling life, to feeling like you are making progress in your career, that you are moving towards the life and career that you want. When we don't take the time to get clear, we will typically take actions because we feel a certain way. We feel frustrated. We feel stuck. And so we do the thing that perhaps everyone else has told us will be the right choice for us. Or we do the thing that we think is going to help us feel better about life. Because when we feel stuck, when we feel frustrated, we want that feeling to change. And so sometimes we will throw spaghetti at a wall just to try something different, to see if that's the thing that makes us feel differently. But if we will take the time to get clear on what we want, to go through that self-discovery process, to take time to dream about our future and what we want, to focus on the things that matter most to us, then we are much more likely to take an action to move the needle towards the thing that we really want rather than the thing that everyone tells us that we want. There are so many people out there that have a very successful career, that have made a lot of money, and who are still not happy, who still feel stuck and frustrated. So it is this combination of the clarity and the action piece that is actually going to lead us to get unstuck. So if you are feeling stuck and frustrated, then I want you to, number one, notice that this is a feeling. Number two, ask yourself, what is this feeling telling me? Number three, ask yourself, what do I really want? And then number four, what can I do today to move the needle? That action is going to look different for each of us because that action for you might look like going to get a specific certification or taking an online class. It might look like going to find a mentor or talking to someone that is in a career that you are interested in. That might look like updating your resume or creating a business plan because you are interested in starting your own business. There is a, an action step that you can take today, but it starts with not letting yourself stay stuck and frustrated, getting the clarity that you need, and then taking action. Now, if you are looking to improve your career or perhaps you're looking to get back into your career after a career break, then I have a couple of episodes that can help you do that. And I will have all of these linked in the show notes below. Number one, in episode 96, we talked about how to build a business from scratch. In episode 116, we talked about stepping back into the workforce as a military spouse after a long career break. 
in episode 159, we talked about using what you know to become a mill spouse entrepreneur. In episode 168, we talked about how to build your resume while not working. And next week, we're going to be talking about the number one skill military spouses need to find a fulfilling career. I can't wait to share that conversation with you. Now, the number one takeaway that I want you to take from today's conversation is that you need clarity on what you actually want before you take action. If you are feeling frustrated, then let's get you some clarity. Now, how can you do that? Number one, go download the free clarity workshop for military spouses. That is linked in the show notes or you can go to millspousemastermind.com slash workshop and that will give you the steps that you need to do to start getting clear on who you are. The other thing that you can do is book a free unstuck session with me where we will help you get clarity so that you can begin to take action because I don't want you to stay stuck. I don't want you to stay frustrated. I want you to live a fulfilling life as a military spouse. I want you to trade that frustration for fulfillment, that isolation for a life of impact. And I am here to help you achieve your goals and dreams as a military spouse. So please come join us in our free Facebook community. Let me know your takeaways from today's episode. Let's support and encourage each other on our journey. I will meet you back here next week. Until then, may you live filled, fueled, and full of joy. Hey friend, before you go, the Mill Spouse Mastermind community is here to help you thrive as a military spouse. Figure out what lights your heart on fire and equip you to create a life of impact. You can have an incredible impact simply by heading over to iTunes to subscribe and leave a review. And if today's episode was meaningful to you, I know it will be for others too. Spread the word by taking a screenshot of this episode and share it to your stories so we can continue to reach more people, change more lives, and shift the way that military spouses look at life. Because we are better together, and together we can change the world. Let's do it.